I have recently instituted a rule that if I can think of five ways to style an item with items that are already in my closet, then I can buy it. So let's see if we can come up with five ways to style this blue striped poet's blouse. The first way I'm going to style it is with these beige twill crop pants. And I love how the blue in the blouse and the beige of the crop pants mimics the colors of the sea and the shore. Not only does it give this outfit a spring and summer feel, but it also gives it a coastal casual feel. And I will go ahead and tell you that these crop pants are slimming both through the stomach area and they give you a little lift on the backside. The shoes are very comfortable, by the way. The first groundhog of the season showed up in my garden yesterday and she was about three weeks early this year. So that was Mother Nature's sign to me that it's okay to wear white pants. So the second option I'm going to style is with these white crop pants. And again, I am wearing my shirt untucked in all of these outfits today. I really feel like this poet's blouse was meant to be light and airy and breezy. No tucking required here. And I've paired it with a pair of wedge heels. They're very comfortable as well. The third way I'm going to style this blouse is with these beige ankle pants to give it more of an elevated, polished look rather than a casual look. The reason I have instituted this rule that I have to think of five ways to style something with items already in my closet before I can buy it is to prevent impulse purchasing. Because if I don't have enough items already in my closet to style with the item, then the item ends up hanging in my closet, unworn and money wasted. So if you just go through this visual exercise before you buy anything, you can really crack down on those impulse purchases. old reliable for the fourth option. A good, comfy, nice fitting pair and well-worn pair of jeans. The style of jeans that fits best on your body is going to vary from person to person. But right now I love these boyfriend jeans. This is an ankle length, but it reminds me of the jeans that I wore in the early 1990s, in the early days of grunge. But here I've just paired it with a pair of canvas sailing sneakers, deck shoes or boat shoes for a coastal casual and very spring feel. I love linen. The Florida girl in me sees it as an absolute necessity. It's a light and breathable, airy fabric 
that really does really well in the Florida summers. If the wrinkles bother you, well, you probably didn't watch enough Miami Vice in the 1980s. I'm just kidding. Sonny Crockett and Tubbs were a lot of linen. But I just love the feel of linen. If wrinkles aren't for you, then linen pants are not for you. Now instead of beige linen, let's try white linen. The beige linen pants are from Amazon. I have a 26 inch inseam for reference. These white crop pants, I'm waiting for them to restock right now, but there is a white option in those Amazon linen crop pants as well that I will link to. And here I've just paired it with some sandals and a straw tote for a springy, summery, definitely coastal casual feel here. I really love the way the baby blue and white looks light and airy and breezy together. The final way I was able to style this blouse was with linen shorts, also from Amazon. But a quick word about sun. I practice safe sun, I use self tanner and sunscreen, and I want to show you my favorite one here. You can see the one leg on the left where I've used it, and then the photo on the right is the final product of what it looks like afterwards. And I will also link to some cream that doesn't get rid of cellulite, but it puffs out your skin for about four hours and gives you a little bit of relief. It makes a big difference. And I know that in the midlife years, some of us get to a point where we don't want to wear shorts anymore. There are articles on my website about shorts alternatives. Until we meet again, my friends.